In this video, I'm going to show you how to perform a speed test so you can understand your internet speed and the limitations that come with that. So here we have a Windows-based PC. So you could use any browser or operating system to do a speed test. You just have to go down here and pull up your favorite web browser. Then we're going to go up to our address bar in our web browser. And we're going to go ahead and type www.speedtest.net. This brings up speed test by Ookla. Here we have the go button in the center, and we're going to test the closest server to us. This is automatically selected by the speedtest.net. So now we're going to click the go button. Now this process could take a while, depending on your internet speed and how fast your computer is. Here we can see we get 150 megabits per second down. And because we have Verizon Enterprise Solutions, which is a fiber connection, our upload speed actually starts to come up and almost reach our download speed. Now upload speed is the most important factor when sending video data from your system. And this is going to be the most important number when doing the speed test. Please note that your upload speed will be significantly lower than your download speed if you have a coaxial or DSL internet connection. Because we have fiber, the upload speed is actually going to nearly meet our download speed, which enables us to remotely view 4K cameras. In another video, we elaborate how much the upload speed and download speed affect your remote viewing. So the upload speed is most important where you're sending video from. And the download speed is most important when you are viewing your system remotely. Now we're going to move forward to some of the factors that actually play into your upload speed when remote viewing. As we just stated in the video, the internet upload speed at the location of the system is the uttermost important factor when remote viewing the security camera system. The second is the internet download speed at the location of viewing, and this is when you're on your smartphone or on a laptop, or if you're on a desktop computer at another location, you're going to want to make sure that the internet download speed there is powerful enough to actually draw the data from the system remotely. Third is the resolution of cameras you want to view remotely. For example, a 2 megapixel camera uses approximately 2 to 3 megabits per second. A 4 megapixel camera uses about 4 to 5 megabits per second, and an 8 megapixel camera uses about 7 to 10 megabits per second. Fourth is the number of cameras you want to view remotely. Now obviously each camera itself requires a certain amount of data, so for each device you have to account for each bit rate. Then number five is the number of people, devices, or programs viewing the system at the same time. Now this is extremely important because again, when you're accessing the system, that amount of data has to be pulled from that system. So if you have multiple people or devices or programs trying to view that system at the same time, then you're obviously going to create what's called a bottleneck. You're going to have a lot of data trying to come out of the system, but then not enough throughput for that data to go through. And you'll experience some lagging on your programs. Sixth is the internet bandwidth usage by other programs or devices on the same network. Now this kind of ties into the previous point. If you have other programs on your network that have to reach out to the internet for either downloads or uploads, this will also affect your internet speed. For example, if you have people watching Netflix or YouTube, then the download usage of those programs or services are actually very high and can definitely affect the remote viewing of your system. Seven is the dedicated computer power on the viewing computer or on mobile devices. Now you can't use a very old cell phone because obviously it won't have the processing power to take that video and display it on your cell phone. The same is true when you have a low power laptop or things like a Chromebook where they don't have a powerful enough processor. They're mainly used for web browsing, not for viewing security cameras or viewing videos. And then finally is that slow internet speeds will also affect audio quality on any camera or system with audio. Then you might experience some jitter or some audio cutting in and out because of the internet speed. Hopefully this video helps. Thank you for watching.